Ah. So, it's uh, Sunday the 21st around 11 o'clock and I was thinking I'm gonna do the weekly update and just try to recap the, the week that's been and how it was and so. But I also thought that maybe I'm gonna show you around a bit on the homestead here and, and just show at least uh, <coughs> what I've been doing most of my time here, which is water management, which takes up a lot of time. Especially now it just stopped rain, maybe two days ago, yeah, two days ago, it stopped raining. So everything is saturated with water and the car is sinking and spinning on the mud. And it's a bit of a big task. So yeah, I w anyhow, I was thinking I'm gonna do the weekly update now and then if you wanna see what's uh, happening around here and what I'm doing around the homestead, just uh, wait for the second half of the, of the video and I will uh, show you around. So basically, this week started really bad actually. Just uh, first of all on Sunday I had to go out, I was running low on firewood so I had to go out in the rain and, and cut firewood, this was a bit... Bad. Oh Stevie, I haven't seen you in a lot of time. Where have you been? Mail Stevie, he's been gone for three days almost. Oh well, he comes. So anyhow... Yeah, so uh, the week started quite bad. I was <laughs> doing the firewood in the, on the, in the in the rain, and then on uh, on Monday, what? Poo -poo. You wanna throw a stick? Okay. No. <laughs> yes, Steve. So sorry. So on. Uh, the week started pretty bad, it was raining all week, so to speak, and the mood was not really in great shape. And then uh, I started with the road on Monday, and it was raining of course, but I needed to get it done. And it was supposed to stop raining in the, in the midnight hours, so I thought that I might have a chance to get the car up, because I was supposed to take the, take the boys for a spa day, but... The car didn't come up. I just slipped on the mud. And it felt like I was doing it forever, but it was probably just because I tried up on the road for the straight up road and uh, go around, but it was so much muddy, I just couldn't get up and I just gave up. <coughs> and then I went back in and, and, and uh, I texted the, the veterinarian that I couldn't come for the for the appointment, but he rescheduled for this week, so I'm gonna go again on Tuesday. And this week has uh, well, stopped raining two days ago, so now it's gonna dry up a bit, so I can get out to the car. But I'm gonna take up the car today or tomorrow. Well, I know it's not raining, so just put it on the firmer ground, so now I can go. Because the the boys really need to go and have their checkup and. Uh, and Mason is so full of knots and uh, and whatnot, so he needs to be shaved as well. Well, uh, Gruff needs to have his claws cut, cut, and uh, well, Elroy, we can't, I can't take in the car. So the veterinarian comes here when he do the rounds in the area, so he comes and check him up and give him whatever vaccines or whatever uh, shots he needs for for his. Well being, I guess. So that was Tuesday. So I just parked the car in anger, and then maybe ten minutes later, my neighbor came in because he was picking beets up on the field, and he came down with the tractor and asked if he pulled me out. But uh, by then I was so I already sent a message to the veterinarian, and it was a bit just angry so I decided to <laughs> to not go actually. So 
that was about it. And then, uh, then I had some work here in the village on uh, Thursday and Friday. So I helped a friend out, which was nice. So I got something to do at least. And instead of just working on the land, it's Mason. But that's about it. It's just a goat. So, anyhow, I managed to do some work on Thursday, Friday, which was good. And then I've been doing some random things here and there. And, and yesterday, <laughs> now they are, they are in a fight with for the boys, the dogs. They have a territorial dispute with the neighbors. <laughs> and yeah, I think they're gonna sort it out. They always do. So that was it. And then yesterday my, my parents came and, and helped me out here because I need to do all this water management as, as I will show you. So There's a lot of raking and uh, picking rocks and try to fix the water issue. So that's about it. So, so right after I'm, I'm done with this video, I'm gonna upload it and I'm gonna get my parents again from the village and then they're gonna continue helping me with uh, trying to get this uh, road situation sorted out so I can get in and out with the car without any problems. I thought it was gonna be solved this year, but you know, things came in the way. So, anyhow. <coughs> been a, I don't know, a week of ups and downs. It started really bad. <laughs> I was angry and disappointed. And just, I don't know, angry I think. And then I just turned around a bit and, and turned into somewhat nicer week. So, and I managed to work which, which helped out. So, yeah, it's been a week of up, ups and downs I think. It's the best way to describe it. From very dark lows to <laughs> to other more pleasant days. And that's how it is. So it feels like the longest week as well. Because I had really bad time sleeping. I, I stay up all night and then fall asleep between four and six in the morning and then I still have my alarm now on starting at 9 because I try to, I need to get up because I can't be turning the, the days around. I try to force myself to go up between 9 and 11. <laughs> so it's not many hours of sleep. Hey Stevie, where have you been? So, yeah, it's been a mixed bag of this week of everything. So, that's it, right? Yeah. So let's show you the the stuff around here instead. It feels uh, a bit lighter to do. So let's show you the the water management that we've been doing for, or I've been doing. I thought it was gonna be done, as I said, but this year we have had so much water. It's been. Um, yeah, you will see. Okay, let's take a look. What do you think, Mason? Are you gonna show the way? Are you gonna show the way? So, <coughs> here, if you see there, you see there, yeah. This is the runoff from, uh, from, from uh, the mountain, just seeping through all the way and this point here is supposed to that point there is supposed to connect over there so all the water is pooling in one area over there I'll take you over there later and by the way for those who wonder these were the the wood that was gifted to me by the neighbors they were clearing out their barn 
for the goats. So he asked me if I wanted the, the floorboards and the, the beams and I said yes. So I'm gonna probably do some of that. It's gonna go for the, as we said, the, the workspace up there in the on the hill. And I have time to do that. But that's for later. So anyhow, the water is just coming here from the side of the mountain here and bleeds through and just go down there and it's connected also through the other side that's I mean it comes water are absolutely everywhere constant flow so it becomes a bit saturated as you can imagine and here this used to be nothing here it's just a hill full of brambles and silva so we just let the water takes its natural path and then we just dug like trenches where the water comes out from the mountain <laughs> and as you can see here it's quite quite a lot that comes out and apparently, and it continues of course here, just comes out of the downside of the of the mountain. And as we talked to the neighbors, they said that because people used to live here, right? So, and the people that had lived here has come down and, and talked to us and we made some inquiries and. They said that it used to be a well here, on a spring-fed well on the hill here somewhere. But they couldn't pinpoint where, because you know everything changed so much with the years. But I think they found like the source of it, which is here. So we just dug down a bit, but that we did last year. But it was so much water, so we couldn't just find the proper source. But it's down here somewhere, so I'm probably just gonna try to pick up the rocks again and try to dig down and see if we can find the find the source a bit better so I mean this water here is, are just brought on by rain up to the spring right and this are then fed underneath the, the, the road and comes out here which you can see it's quite it's quite a lot of water <laughs> so all of that used to just come from the mountain and go on the whole lawn of our front here which made the whole area very saturated and uh, with water and very uh, spongy so it was impossible to go with a car here and so forth so we had to lead the water out the way and then we had to of course since we need to connect the roads we had to build a, a small bridge of sorts and then lead the water again on this side and then we're taking that excess water goes into the garden on a trench there that we can that we, I can just um, decide which direction if it's gonna go to the left or to the right and to the right is down to the garden and then I can basically just decide how much I want to other water to go into the rows or not go into the rows or just expel out on the back side of our property down to another spring that's just beneath there and the other feed from there goes to goes to what's gonna become a duck pond was the idea and for you who doesn't know this is uh, Cindy dug this uh, we call it the bigger hole conversation pit or whatever and this soil were to build the bridge road there to get material to lift the road up so we could connect to to our main road so to speak so it's it's quite a big hole <laughs> so the idea here is that we're gonna 
sorry for all the back and forth, but we just have to live with it, I guess. Uh, here is the plan that we're gonna fence in, or I, sorry, I'm saying we, I gonna fence in a space here for ducks. Just next to the gardens, I don't know how big this is gonna be the area, but it's gonna be around this this pond here that's gonna be fed. So the idea is that raising ducks here during the period that they have the, the pond is active, so to speak, but then have them fenced in here around the garden area because we were we were thinking that we can just have our ducks here in this general area and then we're gonna have the garden here with our you know our uh, our garden basically so and the idea is that we're gonna have on that green thing there was the plan to have so we can wash and cut everything outside and then we can throw the leftovers or the, the clean outs in this area for the ducks so we don't have to bring stuff into the house dirt and so forth that was the plan so I think we are still gonna stick with it because I think it's a pretty good idea and then we because and for those who never had ducks I say we tried before to have free range ducks but that's just a recipe for disaster <laughs> They do like their, uh, they eat absolutely everything and they uh, do their business absolutely everywhere as well. So if you want to have free range ducks, please try, but uh, it's a mess. So we decided for the next pair of ducks we're going to have them within a confined area because otherwise they just go to town on everything. Uh, on the subject on animals, <laughs> we have our chickens, and this I guess this is a touchy subject, but raising chickens is always uh, people have their own ideas on how they want to do it, and the way we have done it, and the way I'm gonna continue doing it, we have never fed our chickens, meaning we have never bought grains or corn or anything like that in feed in a bag to feed our chickens we have simply just let them be free range fully free range and they have to forge for their own food so they just eat on a daily basis they all they eat are grass seeds and bugs and then of course since we have our closest neighbors are goats so the barn is when the goats go in the morning, the, the chickens goes up there and they go and pick in the barn of course where with all the whatever the flies flies and the pool gas and stuff like that from the from the barn so and uh, they lay every day. I get one one egg from each hen every day. So and they're tasty of course. Uh, so that's the way our, we raise our chicken and I gonna continue to raise our chickens. They're working the land, taking care of the bugs, eating the seeds and maintaining like the the length of the of the seeds because they eat all the or the length of the weeds a bit. So that's uh, yeah, they're here on the land to work, they're not they're not they're no pets. Yeah. That's the best way. And also we have four chickens, I have four chickens and two roosters. <laughs> the one you heard now is Catherine. Catherine the rooster. <laughs> She's uh that one there. And when we when we bought them, we got four chickens. And they said when we bought them that they couldn't because they were quite young when we got them. So they didn't know if everybody was a hen or if it was a rooster in there. And of course, three of them, batch of four, died due to fox and other 
other uh, incidents, shall we say. Uh, and the only one that survived was Catherine, which turned out to be a rooster. <laughs> so now we have two roosters, Sean Luke and Catherine, and four hens. And they uh, coexist very well, actually. How to show you? These are the. This is the coop that we have for them. And see, she's laid again today, so. Waiting for three more. But yeah, that's the space station, and I want to tell you this as well. Because this is a bit weird. I don't know if you know anything about chickens, but I don't really know. We just bought them and had them here. But our chickens don't roost. They just lay on the grass. I don't know why, but they refuse to sit on the stick. They just nest in the hay and lay on the floor. So, I don't know. What do you think, Mason? What do you think? Huh? What do you think? You don't know? Okay. So, I think that's it for for today, right? I showed you... Oh, I'm gonna show you the, the river. Wait for it. The noise is probably gonna pick up now because it's coming. And by the way, I'm doing this without the mic, so I hope that the sound is good. I'm trying a one of those gimbal sticks but it doesn't really work that well it's uh, I don't know yeah it might be shaky anyhow the river is quite high it's hard to I haven't really <laughs> shown you guys before so you don't have a, a reference maybe but the banks are yeah normally you can like, I don't know how to show you this even. But, uh, it, it's, uh, it is raging. It is raging. But, you know, it's... Uh, it's uh, the water situation is a blessing and a curse. You just have to... Just have to manage it, and that's that's also one thing I might say actually that if you, I mean, planning on getting a a homestead, I would say that make sure that you check the land and where the water is coming because you're gonna be struggling and working a lot with the water management because the water goes where you wanna go and. The way we done it here as well, we haven't really tried to to push the water to go anywhere else. It's just we have let it go on the grass and then we had just hacked uh, trenches where it's been going. So try to keep the water going the natural path has been going forever. But it's still, I thought I was going to be done with the water this year, but it's more than ever. I mean, you see the state of the, of the road, you mean. That's the road that... I'm fighting with or the mud and then this is gonna be the the track that goes straight up so I'm putting natural rocks here to get more grip because this is just I mean this is just uh, clay it just goes in your tires and then it's impossible to go anywhere so hopefully I can connect this bridge part here down there that's the plan that's what needs to happen and that needs to be done for me in order to say that I can get out with any car without worrying about the rain and snow there's no ice anymore so that's it I think yeah so today Right now, actually, I'm gonna do this one, put it on upload, and then I'm gonna go and pick up my parents, and then continue with the road. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it for today. Miss Stevie wants to go inside, as you can hear. He's, uh, I haven't seen him in, I think, three days, almost. Two, three days. But he goes on this... Uh, Adventures, I guess. Yeah. 
You wanna go in and eat, Stevie? Yeah. You sure? Hello, Steven says hi and uh, I say thank you for watching and thank you so much for all the people that's subscribing and commenting and uh, helping me uh, build the channel actually. It, uh, yeah, it's a really good help and I uh, thank you very much for, for making the effort and commenting and I also like to say that I see them when I read the comments that other people do seem to get some sort of, uh, I don't know, help uh, or just see that other people also do have, but that's for me at least, we're reading all these comments where, where people go through everything the same way, it's, uh, I don't know, it's some sort of, it's hard to explain, it's just uh, comforting of sorts. And it seems like other people also find other com comments comforting. So. So thank you all for uh, for sticking with me and uh, commenting and uh, liking and so on, all that. So I think I'm gonna call it for today, for this video. And I hope that maybe next video I'm gonna try to be a bit more prepared because this week I was planning to do a video before Sunday, but then everything came in between, and then I just pushed it forward, and then I decided to. I'm just gonna do one of those live things again without no edit, so this is gonna be one of those again, so yeah, I don't know, okay, but uh, I'm gonna upload this this one and then I hope you enjoy it and then I'm gonna see you for, uh, hope I see you next week as well, so please like, share and subscribe and uh, if you're new to the channel, you can always check the, the progress we've done so far on the land from because we moved down on the land it was completely raw uh, old pastures and it hasn't been lived, lived on for many 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 years so <clears throat> it was a bit of a challenge to re-establish a, a homestead on a, on a raw land like this and all starts with the water management of course so if you'd like to see the progress from what we have now to where we started you can just Either scroll down the, the list or you can just go on the, the playlist for complete journey and start on video one and then you can see from start to finish if that's what you want to do. So yeah, I think that's it for today. See you guys uh, next week and uh, perhaps next week I'm gonna try to be a bit more prepared for the video and uh, maybe have a bit more of a plan. Yeah. But all in all, I feel uh, I feel a bit better today uh, with the, the week as whole. I think I think it's been a it's been an okay week. Not in the beginning, but in the end. Anyhow, I'm uh, I'm losing my train of thought again, and I'm just rambling as usual. So once again, thank you very much for watching, and then. Uh, Hope to see you next week again. Okay, bye-bye, ciao.